That's an old one there. I haven't done that song in probably 10 years. It's really good. Oh, yeah. really good. I had to cheat and look at the lyrics. I, like, I want to forget that one. <laughs> Say something else real quick. Something else real quick. Uh, something else longer than that. Well, anyway, I guess this next song is about a relationship. It was just a lot more one-sided. Uh, you know, when you're like, in your last... <laughs> Sorry, I hate... I just kind of went off on a tangent in my head while he was playing his solo, and I was just thinking thoughts. And uh, that's dangerous. So, like, you know, you get around to the end of college, and you're like, spending a lot of money on college, and you take some classes, and you're like, there's definitely no point to this class. And uh, it's called a senior capstone class. And they said, okay, so you're a little fool, Simon, is what you need to, um... You need to make a spreadsheet, fill, fill it out. These need to be your columns, and it's like, what's your uh, one year, your five year, and your 10 year plan? And I thought that was ridiculous, because there's no, like, I was like, I mean, I know what I want to do for the rest of my life, which is an amazing accomplishment, I think, for most people. I knew I wanted to do music. But I thought it was, you know, very over the top to be like, this is where I'm gonna be in 10 years. So, I just said as my 10 year goal that I was uh, going to be really good friends with Cheryl Crow. And we were going to write a song together. And we were going to perform it live. And my birthday's next Sunday, so I've got like several more days to make that happen. So, it's, yeah, it's, um, so if we can finish recording this song. Maybe that will happen. Then, so we can send it to her. I might have some avenues. But we had to stand up in the class and present our ten, <laughs> our ten year plans. And like, you know, the the one and the five. So I started with the ten year and he goes I was I was in Nashville by the way at Belmont. I was studying music business and he goes, I think that's a really unreasonable plan. I said, Well I was like, the last guy that gave his presentation just said that he was gonna make millions in the real estate market and I was like, and we're in an economic depression. So I think mine's more feasible, and uh, I think mine's actually more realistic. And he goes, it's like, okay, well, how do you plan on doing this? I was like, well, look, I went and got my hair done last week in Franklin. I was like, and as you may know, uh, Cheryl Crow just got a place out in Franklin. She also, I was like, she also got her hair done there. My hairstylist said she would give me the address, but I was like, no because I'll probably stalk her. And that's not the right way to do it. I said, but I know some people, and I'm really good with kids. As you may know, she has kids now. And I was like, I was like I've got some contacts. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get certified, you know, make sure I can do the Heimlich and like CPR, and whatever, I don't know, whatever, whatever the acronym is. And I was like, I'm, I'm going to babysit her children. I'm going to be their nanny. This is somewhere around the two to five year. And I was like, and when I put them to bed at night, I said, I said I'm going to sing, sing them a song and have them sing it with me. And that's going to be their bedtime song. And then one night, you know, I can't work every night of the week. So then Cheryl's going to come in and I'd be like, Mom, sing us the bedtime song. <laughs> be like, what's the bedtime song? Be like, oh, Mom! And they're not going to be able to sleep, and she's going to have to call me, and she's going to be like, I don't know what they're talking about. What is the bedtime song? And then I'm going to have to sing it to her, and she's like, oh, where did that come from? And be like, well, it's my song. And then she's going to be like, you get my kids to go to sleep every night with this song. Let's do a duet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, again, same, kind of a one-sided relationship, that's what this song is about. If you're a Cheryl Crow fan, you uh, may notice some references. I was on the front porch. Sorry, this is so long-winded, I apologize. Uh, basically, I probably didn't learn enough songs of my own for tonight, so I don't know what to do. But I'm sitting there and I'm kind of doing like this thing. And I get around to the chorus, and I'm 
Tony and I talked about this the other day. We kind of do like mumble tracks, mm, and then we this. fill the words in from there. We're like, this is how it's supposed to sound, and we got And then it's this fun puzzle game of like, okay, well, what word has the right number of syllables and ends on an e sound or o sound? Yeah, it's super cool. It's like a crossword, but for music. So I started playing, and I'm like. Of course, I listen to way too much Sheryl Crow, so the only words coming into my mind are Sheryl Crow lyrics. And then I tried to write my own words, and they didn't sound as good. So then I just decided that I had to write about Sheryl Crow so I could somewhat keep her lyrics in my chorus. And I also decided that if she wanted to sue me over it, it'd be totally fine. I would give her a cut on it, and we would be co-writers! This song's called Sheryl Crow. He <laughs> <laughs> also may know it. We don't even have to play this song. Man, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised I even it's remember. The best song the night. <laughs> yeah. So nobody listened to the song because I feel like my story won. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got way too much to live up to now. <laughs> Happy 
Then the changes did me good Though when they rolled up the door I see my queen riding shotgun So they said, oh baby, roll To the baby calling it home So now I have his guitar You know this song about all the love that's coming for him Someday, what I wanna do is get up and go And hit up the door It's a, it's a, it, you know, for me, I, I never really play uh, any band shows anymore. I don't play with a lot of people. So uh, it's a, it's a real pleasure to be up here with this kind of talent and see, just listening to these guys because it's 